Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the image trace system in XCS. The first thing we're going to need is an image. So there are lots of different sites out there. This one's called freepick.com. There's also pixabay.com, or you could use Midjourney, Leonardo AI, anything to create an image. So in freepick.com, I've already typed in Christmas tree silhouette and searched. And what we find is we, we have a nice black on white image, which is perfect for image tracing. But with this crown on these images, you need to have the premium version. So you can filter by free here. And now all these are free images to use. So what we're looking for is a nice white on black or black on white high contrast image such as these and if we select one we can download but there is an attribution required so this is made by Juicy Fish and you can follow her here on Freepick. So once you click download you can download the image once back in XCS all we need to do is go to this image tab and you might need to unzip the images but once you do just click open that will bring the image in so once we have the image in we have a few options up here edit trace filter adjust and crop the main one we're looking for is trace if the if you did have an image that wasn't black on white you could use the adjust adjust the contrast and the brightness but once you have a nice image all you need to do is click on trace and just let it do its thing and if we zoom in we can see this blue line around the outside of the image that's showing us the result that you'll get once it's done its trace you can refine if your image isn't still isn't very good by adjusting the fuzziness threshold, denoising and smoothness by either decreasing or increasing and, and looking at the results. So if we click save, the image trace is now done. So if we click off and then click and drag the image, we can delete that. And what we have now is the result of the image trace. So if we ungroup, we can see that we have three separate trees, but we also have some floating parts. We just need to delete those. And now we can put them on an engrave layer. We can even change the color. We can change the size, make them smaller, make them bigger. You could use them for engraving on ornaments, cutting out, craft shapes, signs, anything really. Okay, so we're going to do another one. I've got a bat silhouette. This one is actually by Freepick. And again, in XCS, we just go to image, select the image, bring it in. No display it in the original size. If we zoom out. We can see we have a darkish browny black on white. We'll just go to trace, let it do its thing. That looks quite good. Click save, click on the image and delete. And we have a group of bats, which we can rescale. Now it's a vector and ungroup. And there we have a lot of separate bats, which we can put onto the engrave layer. We can cut out. We can do anything we want with. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.